you know what you do when you're faced with this problem? Because we're told by the boss of Vic Roads, 2,000 cars go onto the road, extra cars go onto the road every week. Yeah. That's right. 100,000 a year. Yeah. Well, well, where, where are they going to go? <laughs> well, you know what you do? You promise a uh, loo- underground rail loop around all of Melbourne that will cost uh, uh, that will only cost fifty billion dollars, <laughs> and has what is it twenty twenty forty? Yeah, twenty forty. <laughs> Melbourne will have won a premiership by twenty forty. Well, well, I was going to ask whether you're in a position to construct a forward line for <laughs> for Melbourne, but in terms of pro- promising things, that's a, it yeah. reminds me. Peter Cook once was asked what he was working on. He said he's working on a plane that can fly from London to New York in two minutes. And only cost five dollars. And someone, someone said, "Really?" He said, "Yes, it's in the planning stages." <laughs> I would say that people say, "How do you sum up your show?" And I go, oh, "It's the, it's the very thoughtful process where you take a big project from feasibility study to a negative auditor general's report." <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always said, "Why don't they get the auditor general to pl- to plan the project?" Do you know what I was thinking? You know how they got the DRS, where you can actually yeah. got one appeal. I reckon in life you can actually appeal a project. You should be able to. You can actually do the the signal and the and the the umpire sends it up to the Auditor General. By the way, did you see the catch last night? I did. So it's Are you capable of explaining that well, to me? Well, it wasn't even one hand, one bounce. It no. Was... <laughs> it was just extraordinary. Mm. Um, casting must be fun. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. So uh, we, I've developed a rule over a period of time is that, is that, is that really uh, dumb characters can only be played by really smart people. Yeah. And I found that to be very, very true. But it's funny, you know, you hear actors saying, oh, what's my motivation and what's this line? And we had a table reading. Mm. Comics aren't like that. No. <laughs> Comics turn up, they assume you assume that they know what they're doing. I think Jack Lemon was in um, Days of Wine and Roses. Is that the one about the alcoholic? Yeah. Right, and he was told if you're going to play an alcoholic, don't slur your words. Yeah, right. Try very hard not to slur yeah. your words. Don't, yeah. don't, don't get, don't. Portray a drunk by slurring your words. Yeah, it's it's funny. It's funny that really you know, the actors sort of trade in all these little little things. And I was I was directing someone one day that needed a limp, and he's taking off his shoes and socks, and oh. going, and he just put a stone in the back of his heel. Yeah. And I'm going, God, you know, there must be a hundred of those things. Yeah. Well, it's a, a, a Brando putting tissue paper in right, his cheeks right. for Godfather. 